<laughs> What's up, what's guys? Right about here, and today will be. No, actually, not me, but I'll be picking my top 3 damage items or blocks or. Yeah, just weapons. Yeah, so the damage department. I'll be picking up, picking the top three weapon of my choice. This is my experience. I've played at least I don't know thirty games, somehow like that. But um, and of course, um, some basic knowledge about these type of games. So and of course, my play style. So yeah. So if you like this video, hit the like button and help me reach one hundred likes for this video. So yeah. Um. When I reach 100 likes, I'll be, let's see what rewards I'll be giving you, but yeah, help me reach 100 likes for this video. So yeah guys, so let's pick up our number 3. My number 3 pick is the, this one right here, the private first class, okay, let's put one in there. So yeah, so as you can see right here. This one seems to be small. I mean, it, it looks small. And the damage output is not as, you know, powerful as the other guys. But it is useful when your, you know, when your arsenal is, or your, your robot has been damaged severely. So this is actually the last resort. And this might actually save you from my melee type of uh, robots or mechs so this one's a good counter to the tesla's claymore yeah so and of course if someone pull you okay so this is actually a good counter to that and yeah it's somehow has a short range of fire but um still i consider this as a threat and deadly i mean this one's small but terrible so yeah now we have number two so our number two is the midnight party so the midnight party as you can see right here is actually more of a machine gun type of weapon here at astrocraft so its accuracy is on point its efficiency is on point and the damage output is just continuous so imagine if you are actually you know dealing a lot of one by one damage i mean breaking or destroying blocks of your opponents one by one most probably they'll be scared because this the rate of fire of this weapon is fast and at the same time it takes three seconds i think for it to you know uh to stop firing so yeah it lasts three seconds so that's really helpful and this is this one's actually a good go-to gun i can say and yeah it's the biggest space on my experience in my opinion so this one's got the rotary rotary cannon this one's the precision guided cannon i actually said private first class but yeah so let's just uh correct that and lastly, we have in here the Pulse Plasma Blade. Of course, the number one go-to weapon of everybody. This one is just bam, bam, bam. I mean, just add some boosters. Okay. And then add some shield on front of your, or in beside your bot for your protection. Then it's done. It's game over. I mean, this one's a very good type of weapon, although it requires skill. To be honest, unlike the other type of weapons which requires just some clicking and tapping. But this one right here it requires precision and timing. I mean, that's very important. But yeah, these are actually my top picks. So if you have some ideas on your top 3 weapon picks, just comment down below. And if you are against my uh, opinion, just comment it down below. But in a respectful way, let us respect each and every one this community and let's avoid being toxic okay so yeah that's pretty much it and as always i'm right blitz and just remember that Brady loves you so yeah guys um tomorrow i'll be picking the top three 
type of how am I going to say this uh, wheels or way of movement yeah a tool for movement tomorrow uh yeah so stay tuned and yeah as always i write a bit and just remember that ready loves you so yeah guys bye i'm seeing you next time